Hey everybody, Dave here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode where we are continuing to further explore the whole everything that makes up this wonderful game Shadows of Brimstone. And the past videos I've been putting out talking about fleshing out uh, different other worlds and that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. Uh, we're going to be talking about how to flesh out the Jargono other world that comes in the Swamps of Death core set. And I'm going to start off with saying that uh, if you're new to the game or you're just starting to explore things and you want to add stuff, starting off with uh, just fleshing out what you already have is a great place to start. Some of the things that I showed you before require you buying a, a whole set of tiles and everything else. And, and you sure, you add a lot of variety, but if you're on a budget, start with what you already have. And uh, this particular other world is one of my favorites. I, I just love the whole setting of being in a swamp. So we're going to jump in into this right away. So I've got uh, a lot of the stuff where I don't have everything but I will talk about what's available and what I do have and what they add to the game. So let's uh, get started. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm peel off the box on here. And um, I have most of my stuff in here uh, bagged up. I don't have stuff painted um, yet. That's one thing that I really kind of lack uh, the skill of is painting. But I do have some pieces that I've messed around with. And we're going to start off with talking about the card supplements that are available for the uh, Swamps of Death. And off to the side, there is plenty of room for uh, expanding those. So, starting off with the encounters. If we look at the, the encounter cards for the Swamps of Jargono, there's only 15 of these encounters. So as we're going through, uh, you're going to see these rather frequently and it's going to, in my opinion, it, there needs to be more variety. So a great way to flesh this out is to go ahead and get, I believe it's called the Murky Waters uh, card supplement. And that's going to add another 15 encounters. So now you're going from a stack like this. Now, you add another, now you've got double the number of encounters, plenty of variety to um, add in there. If you don't want to use it, another way that you can do this is you look down at the bottom, these SD stands for Swamps of Death. The other ones will have a P on the bottom for a promo. But you're going to get a lot more variety in the types of encounters that you have in your uh, plays in the Swamps of Jargono. The other additional thing you can get is going to be the Jargono Artifacts. The original game you have only 12 artifacts that come with, and they're, they're aptly um, themed and, and stuff like that that you can use. But uh, if you want to have more variety and a lot cooler stuff to get, then go ahead and pick up the Jargono Artifact Pack number one, which adds 15 more. So now you go from 12, now you're going to have 27 different things. And we'll take a look at some of these. I believe the Darkstone Club has made an appearance in a previous uh, episode with uh, Juva has that. Um, and we have, there's this like statue of a, a serpent god, so it definitely adds more to the theming. Uh, a lot more of like the jungle hunter thing with the hunting net, um, totems, tr masks and shields and stuff like that. Lots of different things. Just going to add more variety and a little bit of a richer thematic experience for the Swamps of Jargono. So that's artifact pack number one. Those two are available to be added to your set and those simply can be added to the game. And a great way to get those is when the Flying Frog Productions usually has one of their holiday sales and they have the supplement packs of buy two, get one free. Go ahead and grab those two and then pick another one for free. Uh, I think I mentioned ones on fleshing out the core set. You can add one of those in there. That'd be a great thing to do. Okay, uh, the next thing that I feel is pretty beneficial to this and it could be used across the board is one of the heroes and uh, that would be the hero pack for the Jargono native and we did use uh, Juva in one of the uh, in a, a series of adventures and hopefully we'll see her again uh, when you buy the Jargono native hero pack you're going to get two sculpts so I have the the male one built with his um, blade here, 
and the shield. And then we have, this is Juva right here with the bow and um, her dagger. So you get both sculpts, so you get both genders, and you can use them however you want, and they have a little bit of variety in how you can build them. In fact, they show you um, here you could add the uh, either the shield or the bow, and this is what you can make it. So you can end up with having this or like that. And I ended up with going with this look right here and this look right here for myself, but they do give you the variety of how do you want to build them. And um, they're, they have a double-sided character sheet. So there's a Jargono native there, Jargono native on the other side. And the additional cards that come with this, uh, you will get obviously your starting, um, your abilities that you have for the game. You have a choice of three. And they also come with uh, appropriately themed uh, Swamps of Jargono personal items. So th their personal items actually will come from Jargono, adds a really thematic um, experience to the game. And also, it's kind of neat to play one of your characters going back and playing in their own home world. So I think it's kind of neat. And then finally, the last thing that comes with this has uh, some talks about a lot of their things, leveling up their upgrade bonuses, and then also we have their upgrade chart for the Jargono natives. So I really think this one is cool. Uh, I've enjoyed playing with it, and I'm looking forward to playing more. Now, uh, the next thing to jump into, and, and at least for the Swamps of Death, there's not a ton of stuff like some of the other worlds. There's like lots of different things. Um, however, I will say that there are some of the enemy packs like the Harvesters from Beyond and the Trederan Raiders, and there's also the um, Shikari Nomad Crusaders. Those can show up anywhere, so they give you other world cards for those. Those are aptly um, you know, usable in the Swamps of Death. Those are the ones that I think uh, you really get uh, the most use for them because they can, be, they can show up everywhere. But some things that are really, really specific to Jargono, I'm going to talk about um, a couple of expansions that I have. Uh, and the first one that I think would be, if you're going to really want to add enemy packs, your number one choice is going to want to be the uh, Serpent Men of Jargono. Now this is a deluxe enemy pack, and it comes with quite a bit of stuff. First of all, you're going to get a bunch of uh, models, and there's seven of them. So we're going to get the serpent man shaman so when you build him up he's got his headdress on and his staff so you can see him and then there's also two additional um, model types for the serpent men you have one with their club that looks like that and then the other one that has their blade and they both have their shields and so you get six of those models. So you get seven models to start off with. And so, and to me, the Serpent Men, they just, that just looks like something that belongs in the swamps. And I'm really surprised that they weren't in, included in the core set to begin with. So the, the, they will talk about um, the other things that you get. And there's a number of cards that you're going to get with these too. So with the Serpent Men of Jargono, uh, one of the things that you get is uh, what tribe they come from. And as you play with them, you're going to put them out, you're gonna draw one, and as you're encountering them, this is what, what you may draw. So for example, if we have the King Moccasin tribe, has some flavor text, and then these are the modifiers that are going to be for those as you're encountering them. And these can change through the game, but for the most part, you're going to see them from the same tribe. But there's a different variety for uh, different ones. And if you really wanted to be original, you could paint them all from one scheme or, or whatnot. Um, and they actually have a painting guide in this book as to how you want to have them look. So, um, for example, here's some imagery there. So, uh, this is neat. 
the Serpent Men tribes. It's kind of like the some of the card supplements that change up some of the enemies, and I think I talked about those. Um, there's like the enemy traits. That's what these are like with the Serpent Men tribe. You're also going to get uh, additional encounters. Five more encounter cards, four Jargono, and five more artifacts. And these are all based around the uh, Serpent Men. Then there's a couple other things that will come into play with this. Uh, you get the enemy pack here with the Serpent Men Shaman. And they this one has, uh, they use magic and they also have... Uh, trinkets that they can use so you're going to get additional cards uh, so they're like a spell caster there's a whole list of serpent men magic so we'll we'll take a look at one of these here ghost bite the shaman targets a random hero and sends forth an astral serpent to strike at them you have to pass a test or you're going to take wounds and uh, there it also talks about uh, mastery on here um, which you can explore that in the rules but anyways they have their um, serpent men magic and there are also going to be these different trinkets that they have um, that are going to give them buffs as well so you have these different uh, cards that are going to come with the deluxe enemy pack and you're going to have um, their enemy sheets so the serpent men themselves they have an init initiative of five and they're pretty fast to move and they're a good, they're a kind of a fun enemy to fight. They're not too too difficult, but uh, they definitely are going to add for a great experience in playing the game. And then also, you will get the uh, other world threat cards that are going to be for your serpent men warriors and the shaman. And these can get shuffled in there, and you're going to come across them. But to me, this is probably the best uh, investment for the uh for the swamps of death would be the serpent men of jargono and it comes with a couple of additional missions that you can play with okay the other um, enemy pack that is uh, quite interesting that i have are going to be the uh swamp slugs of jargono and you get three of them and they look pretty cool. These are super easy to assemble. I believe, if I recall, they're just two halves, and they just glue together, and you put it on a base, a 40 millimeter base. Um, I haven't painted these. I've encountered these. These are, they should have just been called Jargono tanks instead of swamp slugs, but they're, they're, they're pretty difficult. I don't really recommend these for, uh, for young or for not young for. Um, lower level characters because they are they are really really tough they have um we'll take a look at their cards here in a minute um first of all they can move quite a bit they're easy to escape from <coughs> but they still can move pretty quickly and they have an initiative of three but if you start on the same map tile you automatically take a horror hit and they have the endurance where they can't take more than three wounds from any single hit um so and they have 15 health Plus, um, and they have a two defense, so it's going to take a little bit to take them down. And they have acidic mucus at the end of each turn. Any hero adjacent to this enemy immediately takes D3 wounds, ignoring defense. Well, with the fact that they can move, they can get right up on you. So you're going to have to try to attack these from a distance. And they have their elite chart, and uh, so it adds with extra things, like their extra mandibles. They can get extra combat. You can regenerate where they heal two wounds. That's that's crazy. And then they also have the uh, Brutal Side as well. On, and we have the Brutal Side on both of the, with the Serpent Men Warriors and Shaman as well. But these are, these are a fun variety to add. And again, they add a little bit more uh, flavor and variety to the Swamps of Jargono. So the Swamp Slugs also come with uh, threat cards, uh, other world threat cards. So those are... Um, these are neat ones to add. And then the last ones I don't have is the Swamp Raptors. Uh, so if you could think of Jurassic Park, you've got these dinosaur things running around. And uh, they recommend actually getting three of them so that you can have like this pack. But uh, to me, they're a little bit expensive. And I haven't gotten around to getting them 
because I just didn't to me I didn't really feel like having like the uh, like a dinosaur feel to it but they are available um, I'll have an image up on the screen you can see what they look like if you want to pick those up but anyways for the swamps of death there's a few things that add they add quite a bit of variety I'm looking forward to the Brimstone Adventures because when you get the Valley of the Serpent Kings, which is the Adventures core set with the Conquistadors, it's going to have more stuff for this, um, which I will be showing you that stuff when it arrives. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I've seen an unboxing of the Warlord Pledge, which is what I have. There's a bunch of stuff, so uh, you're going to be able to see all that stuff when it shows up. But I wanted to take the time to do a quick video to show you some things that you can do to start off with uh, just fleshing out your swamps of death with the Jargono Otherworld. So uh, if you guys have done any upgrades or what things have you added to your uh, Jargono Otherworld, what other enemy packs do you use outside of things? To, uh, um, Actually, I don't really know if there's much that you can use other than the things that I've mentioned, but let me know what you guys have done, what you've used. Uh, have you incorporated, I believe there is, I want to say it's the Lost Army mission pack, I think adds something to the uh, Swamps of Death. Have you used that? Let me know. Um, and uh, we'll catch you guys again soon. Bye-bye.